Dear students, let us begin the rules of past perfect tense. Past perfect means that the particular work which is completed earlier and another work begins just after. So there are two methods in past perfect tense in which the first contains conjunction before and another after. So let us begin the conjunction before. It means first of all affirmative sentence. In past perfect tense in affirmative sentence subject had then third form of the main verb then object then before and another subject then second form of the main verb then object. For example he had done his work before the bell rang. So here you can see the first clause is written in past perfect tense and second clause which is in simple past tense. In negative sentences subject plus had plus adverb not never then third form of the main verb which is known also as past participle then object then before and then subject after that second form of the main verb then object. The example is given she had not sung a song before mother came. Here the first clause belongs to past perfect tense and second clause belongs to simple past tense. Number three, third rule is of interrogative. In interrogative, the sentence which begins with helping verb. So here had, then subject, then third form of the main verb plus object plus before then subject and after that second form of the main verb then object and finally question mark students let us have the example of it had you gone there before father returned home so first clause belong to past perfect tense and second belongs to simple past tense then question form in question form Question word, why, what, where, which, how, they are to be placed in the beginning of the sentence. Example is given, why had he written an essay before you asked? Another example is given, who had called you before he came here? Dear students, let us have some more rules of past perfect tense in which we are going to use the conjunction after. In affirmative sentence of this type, subject plus second form of the main verb plus object plus after then subject then had and past participle it means third form of the main verb plus object. For example, patient died after the doctor had gone. So here first clause belongs to simple past tense and second clause belongs to past perfect tense. Dear students, let us have the rule of negative sentence. In negative sentence, subject plus did not, it means did plus not, plus v1 plus object, then after, then another subject, plus had, then past participle, then object. For example, she did not go there after it had Rained. So, students, you can see here that first clause belongs to simple past tense and second clause belongs to past perfect tense. Students, let us have the rules of interrogative sentences. So, first, which begins with helping verb, did, then subject, then first form of the main verb. Whenever did comes in a sentence, dear students, you have to use only first form of the main verb. This is also known as present form. Then object, after, subject, had, then past participle, then object and finally question mark. Example is given, did you complete your work after the bell had rung? So here first clause belongs to simple past and another clause belongs to past perfect tense. Then question form. As I have already told you that in question form, question words 
are used in the beginning of the sentence. Example is given. Why did he play a match after it had rained? Another example of the same kind has been given over here. How did you learn these rules after teacher had gone? So here first clause belongs to simple past tense and another clause belongs to past perfect tense. Thank you students and have a nice day.